can, um, you know, you could get a spray bottle. Yeah, but the thing is, if I left a little more oil in there, I wouldn't have to. And so, and then you have to actually stop and do it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I like to leave a little bit more in here. But since I was doing this for you guys, I was a little too thorough, I think. Here we go. Elaine, we were curious to, um, how many months, that months that worth of fleece is in your lens here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that might be a year. It's probably a year. Was this a ram? I don't know. Does, do you have the box? It's right here. Oh, 820 is a female. Single female. Single white female. <laughs> At least you put on there organic matter at the neck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I try to let people know what they're getting. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you can see where I've already started out sort of pulling out the short uh, pieces, the second cut. But I'm going to work it back and forth a couple times. And the more you work it, the more refined it's going to be. Are you always combing at 90 degrees to the always. point of the other one? Always. Because if, think about it. If you just pull like this, it's going to pull straight through. It's not going to do anything to it. And you're going to bend your comb. So, And that's the hardest thing to remember when you're doing this. It's always at a 90 degree angle. And you're always tempted because it just seems to make sense to go like that. You don't ever want to do that. It will destroy your comb. The other thing to remember is when you start out, start at the tips. It's like brushing your hair. You're going to have snarls. You want to work them out at the tip and then work your way in. Otherwise, again, you're going to be destroying your comb. That's when you when you put them back on the the one that's down to the first point, the residual, that's where those shortcuts were coming from. It was when you returned it to the original. Well, I've got them back here, too. Oh, okay. It's taken it out of both sides. Uh -oh. And you'll see when I've, um, I've almost got this one off here. You go back and forth and take off as much as you can. When you can't take it off anymore, then you're going to transfer it back. And you keep working it back and forth until it's to a degree. Like right now, I can spin it, but I might still have some stuff in there I want to work out. You want to make sure it's all nice and fuzzy like that, and that uh, the fibers are, all the locks are opened up. <coughs> but if I work it back and forth, I'll keep, out, keep on pulling out short stuff. And you can take this and save it and card it so that doesn't get wasted. Oh. Or you can use it to stuff things. Somebody did something for me. <laughs> You're not hanging on my every word. No. <laughs> Eric turns this thousands of times. Alright, now uh, again I can work it back and forth as many times as I want. A country example of a div, um, uh, Jeannie Asplund has it, and it has four different size holes. You can make whatever size, uh, what's the term I want? Probing. Probing. Sliver. Sliver, thank you. Um, <laughs> well, I'll go off the talk about this. Uh, that um, you can always make it smaller, but you can't make it bigger than what you're starting with. So if you wanted a fat one, you can start with a big one. That's where I'm going to go because it will be easier for me to feed for the general public. Maybe. There we go. So once you get it in there, uh, and this just takes a little bit of practice, you just start pulling. And it's just taking advantage of wool, natural ability uh, to stick together. And the more even you pull it, the better your top is. That's the word I wanted. Mm -hmm. going to Come be. Top. Now keep in mind, as this fiber is coming off of here, all the tips are still out here. So the fiber is coming off in all the same direction. It's <coughs> all facing that way. The growing tip is going that way. What happens if you do it the other direction? Oh, it's oh, okay. You get way ahead of me. Oh, later. sorry, sorry. Stay with me here. Okay. Sorry. Where's sweetie? Because then they stick and prick you. You can do that part any way you want. Just